And welcome to Bench Monster TV. I'm Ashley Lynn Condre. And I am Ryan Canelli, the Bench Monster. Thank you for joining us this week. We hope you've had a great week. Hope everybody's doing well. And uh, I guess we'll start off quickly talking about your week. How was your week, Ashley? My week was not good. Not good. Okay. Well, uh, as many of you may, may not, not know, she got Ashley got a little fender bender uh, this, what was it, yesterday? Yeah. And... Uh, she had a near-death experience, but she's here today. Yep, the officers told me that I need to go buy a lot lottery ticket because I'm lucky to be alive. We'll show you. Yeah, we'll show you we'll some show you uh, damages to the car. Actually, totaled your car. Um, here's one picture so right crushed. here. Gosh, I love that car. Yeah, I mean, that's hard to look at. It's a bad. That's a bad wreck. Um, but if you can see um, the metal that's going through the window there on the driver's side, um, that came through and it scraped the side of my head. Um, but if it would have been, you know, an inch to a couple inches further over, it would have impaled my head. And we have a picture of that coming up. Here's a front view of it here. A lot of damage to the car. The officers said most of the time when something like that comes through the, the window, the driver doesn't make it. So they they kept letting me know how lucky I was. And you, you don't feel very lucky at the time as you look at your baby crushed like that, but... Um, they definitely, definitely told me that I was very lucky. And here's a piece of that metal that shot through the, the window and skimmed your your head. She actually has a scar on the side of your eye. And I had a hematoma there yesterday. The swelling went down, yeah. Yeah, but that came shooting through the window and almost took your head off. Yeah, just, it's scraped. Let's see what we have. Can you show it? Yeah. Well, you still got a scar there. Um, the swellings went down yesterday that my eye was like out to here. Um, but yeah, so it just, it grazed the side of my head. But if it would have been one or two inches over... That would have been all she wrote. Yeah. So you uh, survived. Thank God you're here. And just, uh, and Subarus are good cars. Yeah. Um, definitely a commercial for a Subaru um, yeah. that I was able to walk away from that. Um, um, they also, the, my wheel came up through the floorboard. I don't know if you can see in the picture um, and trapped my legs. So again, if that would have came over just a little bit more, it could have broken my legs. No. My knee, my knee and ankle are pretty sore. From it. Yeah, a little, little bruised and banged up today, but uh, decided to do the show, so I didn't have to do it solo. I appreciate that. Let's move on to some lifting of yours. You got a deadlift here. Let's talk this over real quick. Okay. So this must be in this the gym. This was before the accident, by the way. Before? In, like, in the morning? No, I'm just, the, like, uh, this was the other day. This was okay. before I got in the accident. Well, I went. Some pretty good speed here on this too. lift. I was just watching this. Yeah, it felt great. Like, my back. My back felt fine on this day this was one of the best days that my backs felt like I, I could almost forget i had a problem right you know like i could barely feel it which was really nice so your back is healing up it's trying i kind of took a step backwards yesterday i think well, but that part doesn't doesn't hurt so bad. right my lower back is okay it's like my ribs and upper that kind of hurt from yesterday well some tremendous dead lifting here but Great. it felt very good so you know it's nothing nothing crazy heavy nothing super special but no pain, which was a huge victory, I felt like. Right. A lot of reps here. I had I did five sets of five, conventional, and then I switched to sumo and had to do five sets of five. Damn. Yeah. Uh well, hey, we got some social media lifters here to spotlight too. So we're do gonna it. we're gonna buck through this. Uh this was sent to me by uh, Randy Robertson. He uh trains with three guys here, and each one of them are gonna do a nine sixty five reverse band. And I got a let's go, we'll start off with uh let's see T T J Caflet here forty four years young nine sixty five weighs two forty two, and they're doing a little bit of reverse band pressing something that uh, we need to do on our squad. That's a nine sixty five on the bar. Got some reverse bands hanging from the power rack. Looks like an Atlas shirt. One of my favorite exercises. This is how I started handling a thousand pounds myself the first time. Touching and training and putting it up. Handling some big weight there. Uh, one of their training partners, Sean Keen, is uh, 55 years young and he's going to do 965, also weighing 248. That looks like a tight shirt. I'm thinking it's a Pharrell, but I don't know. Love the reverse band. 
There you go. Spread that bar. Nice lift, sir. All right. Let's go to uh, Randy Robertson here. 58 years young. Doing the same thing. 965 at 248. Got a Pharrell shirt on. Familiar with those? When these videos were sent to me, these guys are light and body weight, you know, 242, 248. Impressive lifting here. A little traction on the floor there for some leg drive, I think. That's what was going on. Let's see how the shirt works here. Three-man handoff is critical. Nice and smooth, not wobbly. Nice full lockout lift here. All the way down. Head back, chest up. Yep. Damn, son. A lot of pressure down there at the bottom. I know that. Good for you, Randy Robertson, Sean Keen, and TJ Caflet. Way to go. Uh, well, a typical evening wouldn't be complete without this man. I uh, saw this on Facebook the other day, and it uh, sparked my interest. And uh, try to figure out how much weight old Chuck was doing here. I think I think it's close to a thousand. What? Not in the canvas suit there. Go go go! Inspirational man, right there. He's such a badass. The fire beanie. Yep, gotta love the fire beanie. Well, wait, you're wearing a fire beanie. In honor of Chuck Wow. Liverpool. I don't even have one of those anymore. Hey, what else happened this weekend in the in, in training? Uh, I guess a West Side lifter got her name on the on the West Side board. Ooh. Heidi Hauer. I got her squad here. I like to showcase here, you know. Uh, what is she doing? A 680. All-time world Damn. record squat at 132. Jesus. I enlarged it a little bit, so it may be a little blurry, but I wanted to get the full picture here. West Side trainer here. Kicking some ass, taking some names. She also benched a 395, I think. But I got her squat here. Just makes it look like another day in the office. Good for her. Awesome. Uh, what else? Moving kind of quick. Should I move this fast or should we slow it down? Whatever you want. Well, I got I got a lot of things if to showcase there. Uh Pete Santi. Uh, doing 405 for 21 reps. Now, he's out of Seattle area and uh, had to watch this, you know, Bench Monster DVD back in the day. We did 405 for 20. I was so impressed by your 405. And uh, this kid here is... Is, uh, is he purposely trying to beat that? I don't know, but he's doing yeah. pretty good at it. Because he did. Yeah. Nice full locked out lifts here. You can't yeah. take nothing away from no, the guy. Can't. It looks, his butt even looks like it's yeah. probably Anchor on down. bench. Yeah. yeah. Good speed. Everything's tight, too. No excess dipping when he's coming down. They start to slow, of course, but this guy's got tremendous stamina and conditioning here to do this type Most of thing. Most guys would kill to bench this for one. Raw. I, don't, I don't know if he trains for uh, repetitions like this or probably just a one-time thing, but I think he got to actually train. He probably does both. I don't, see, I don't think. Yeah. He also benches six, what, 17? Six eleven. Was it? At 275, raw. Yeah. Six eleven, six seven. In a USPA like meet, which is really hard. Right. So it was like the, of the strictest conditions. Steve Goggins saw a video of him, uh, inspirational guy. I was there when he squatted his first 1100 in the, mm. uh, at the Arnold Classic in 2003 or four. So one of those years. But here's a thousand pound squat, uh, weighing weighing only uh, 242. This is a strong man. Makes it look very easy. Damn, son. <laughs> nice position throughout. I wonder if he took another attempt after that because that was uh that was a piece of cake. I, if he had another one, I bet he did. That, I mean, that was like absolutely nothing. That was first or second. I, I doubt it was first, but that was second. Yeah, just popped up like like speed reps.
Yeah. Uh, Bill Gillespie reached out to me. We all saw Bill Gillespie set a, uh, I think, a record of some sort, uh, 1052 bench. Uh, he sent me the actual uh, video here, want me to play it, so I'm going to showcase that. And uh, I was a little confused because I think he did it last weekend, and Tiny Meeker's show was this weekend. So oh. I don't know if he's doing back-to-back -back meets, but uh, we'll uh, shout him out here. Got a little audio playing. Definitely got speed off the chest. Video is pretty far away. I couldn't zoom in on it too far, but uh, say la vie. Right. Congrats to you, Bill. Uh, nice job, Bill. And uh, this cool. weekend at the Tiny Meekers Contest, which is Saturday or is it Sunday? I can't remember. Like well, it, isn't it both days? I, I, I should know I this. I don't know which and, I know. I, I, and I don't. Okay, what are we done? Oh, I'm out, I'm out of social media lifters. Holy crap, that was quick. Where do we go now, Miss Ashley? Your stuff. Oh, my stuff. Uh, should we do the dark side promo code? I know a lot of people... Sure. take advantage of it it's 10 percent off you know bench monster 10 and uh order your gear whether it be cuffs shirts whatever wraps surge surge wraps knee wrap i mean it's got the whole the whole thing man and if you can save 10 percent, take advantage of it i mean i would so i'll let this roll through real quick so everybody can take it down i post it every weekend but you know i want everybody to to benefit from it okay we're gonna roll into looks like my speed bench workout first and we will see what happened on speed bench day. And we will see the velocity of the bar and see if we were moving it at the correct speed. Let's roll in. All right. What are we doing? Duffalo bar. The actual Duffalo bar, not the prototype this week. So it's got that big deficit in it of two and a quarter inches, I believe. And of course we do three different grips. We were doing a somewhat controlled uh, eccentric phase there and a slight pause, I think. And then we were trying to pop it off the chest. We didn't, we didn't want to come slamming it down. We kind of came up with this plan on the spot. I, uh, I'm kind of doing a ballistic bench there. Yeah, I, I can't touch. Yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm so tight. I'm just not, I'm not letting it get all the way down. Really? Yeah. When you're everything's squeezing and everything's tight. And I don't have the whole speed bench workout. We won't be here for 75 hours. So everybody's wearing the cuffs. I see that. You started a trend. Mm -hmm. Control, 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 explode. Good. Everything's looking good. We, uh, this is the second week with the Duffalo bar, so we will switch bars tomorrow, probably a straight bar or something else. And I believe we're using band and chain because that's what we just discussed uh, an hour ago at the gym before I sat down in this chair. Got to get that bar moving pretty quick there, faster. I think I just got like everybody doing one set with each grip so it shouldn't be much longer okay it's fine then huh it's fine then. yeah Take it as long as you want this is remember i did the 225 for 50 reps the week before so we were a little curious if that was gonna exhaust us a little bit but it didn't seem to bother it didn't seem to affect you no. too bad that's good yeah and like i said these sets are back to back no there's no rest periods here we try to go as quick as we can i think we have four people going here if i'm not mistaken Boom. Pop that bar off the chest. All right. I think this is the last uh, last grip. We do nine sets of three here, you know, three sets each grip. And as we move out, we tend to add weight. Or if the bar, we don't feel the bar is moving fast enough, then we do not. Bar speed is essential here. And that's what we're after. And tomorrow I will bring a, bring a velocity meter in, velocity meter in, and we will test that concentric phase speed and make sure that everybody's pushing between the 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 are you listening miss ashley feet per second this was an interesting workout here we did some interesting things right after we speed bench of course we're going to go do uh incline decline seated or flat 
dumbbell, barbell, some type of exercise here. And, and today was a decline. So we do uh, two sets of uh, 15, one set close, one set wide. This workout starts at three o'clock and ends about 4.10. It's that quick. But is there a tremendous amount of sets and reps and exercises crunched into that one hour? I like decline myself. Pretty easy after having just used the duffel bar and the resistance that we had on there. We take that off. Uh, a regular barbell moves pretty quickly. And 315 is the treat of the day here. And then it's, it's a wider grip, of course, now. We've probably seen this time and time again. But this is how we train. Switching exercises every two weeks. Gonna have to try that 315 for reps on the flat bench again, see if I can't beat the 40 rep mark like I did at the Arnold that one year. Now Pete Santee's doing 405 for 21 reps, so you know, other things to work on too. All right, what are we moving into? Oh, Ryan Hines has got to do 315 himself. <clears throat> I said, you got to bring it low. Don't let that bar climb on you. As we'll see in the max effort exercises in the next video, we will see Ryan Hines handle upwards of seven to 800 pounds in a band shirt. Band shirts have taken off with my crew here. Oh, pineapples. One of my favorite exercises. Basically, you set 45s up there, feet on one bench, sit on another, and you dip until failure, take a plate off, dip until failure. Then what do you do? You dip till failure, and then you use your body weight. I didn't have a lot of range of motion here. Like, I didn't, I, I don't have the flexibility to get, I did these, but it didn't look, it just looked like I was moving at like one inch. So I was a little disappointed, and I did not post it. But somebody that has some good range of motion here is Jacob Oram. And he, he'll be up next. But these are tough. It's a serious burn, a serious pump, and a, and a serious fatiguing exercise here. I mean, after you're done, you just, yeah, right there. That's what you're feeling. This guy here's got a little bit better range of motion. 30 plus years of benching, my shoulders just don't have that flexibility, flexibility like they should. He's getting down there. That looks really good. It's an alternate form of dips here. We, I think we'll do weighted dips tomorrow. We'll see. How come you guys don't do the regular dips? Just because you can't. We just haven't. Nobody, nobody's. Add, add the weight the same way. All the chains around the neck are really good. Yeah, we, we're going to do that tomorrow. They don't know it yet, but they're going to. Uh -huh. Well, they're probably listening. So they're going to. They might know. Yeah, so we I did two. who watches and who doesn't. I'm always curious. I wish we could have like a way to see exactly who's watching. We did two yeah. sets here, obviously, of. Uh, failure and then we uh rolled into some rolling dumbbells on the floor and these were really tough after what we had just done you don't see a lot of weight in the hands there because this is a high volume day so these uh we're kind of doing the slow eccentric there coming down slow and then putting and it, these were these were killing us like I, I got 55s there and i am i'm dying i usually use 70s or 80s but uh triceps were definitely hit at this point I think we did four or five sets of uh, 10, and we were zipped. And I believe after this, and I don't showcase it, but we do a little side belt, uh, upright row, just simple shoulder stuff. Now, we move into max effort, one of my favorite nights. Uh, my max effort exercise has been suffered just a tad. My center handoff guy has been out of commission, so I've had to kind of get uh, Ryan... Ryan Hines in the middle there and my side guys, but uh, we seem to be getting it down with what I got. Let's roll into that. What I've done is basically gotten the back of my truck and I've brought in 
uh, a lot of band shirts in the back of my truck. So everybody wants to play in them now because you can move a tremendous amount of weight. So uh, we decided a two-week wave here of uh, some band shirt board pressing. Of course, we're going to warm up raw. This is uh, 315. I'm getting familiar with the red plates and the black plates now. I'm kind of getting used to seeing them over and over again, so. And Dan Logman here, he comes from Pendleton, Oregon. He actually drives 41 minutes to the gym to train with us on Tuesday nights. Uh, he brings intensity. He's a great addition to the crew, and we are uh, thankful to have him. Of course, he's uh, got the cuffs himself. And uh, we, we put him through the ringer here in a single ply. He's going to do a USPA meet soon. Um, 375 here. Like I said, we're going to put the band shirt on a little bit, and we're going to play with those. So I don't really want to do too many reps. I just want to get to now. We got uh, Dan here doing 525. And what we're going to see is a touch and a press command. And as he gets it up here, the you know, the, it doesn't lock out like I really wanted to. So what I did is we lowered the weight a little bit. Now I'm going to tell him to spread the bar when he pushes it off his chest. And we see a little bit better of a lockout here. When you spread the bar, you have a less tendency to turn out your elbows. I'm yelling at him for three, two, one, and press and spread the bar. And he's, uh, he really liked that spread the bar technique. Something you have to be told. Uh, Ryan Hines here got the, uh, Pharrell shirt on and uh what's he got on there ashley that's 650 that's a little beyond where i usually yeah, six, get to go, 645 so with 645 and uh this black shirt here has been tossed around everybody seems to like to wear this one i wore i wore it too that's 655 and uh good lift there uh oh brandon allen here is a 320 pound raw bencher and he's got 550 something on there, and he's got the super tight black and blue Pharrell. This was a good lift because he pushed it up in a straight line, and, and it was just a pretty lift, and uh, I definitely wanted to post this one. I stay close in the bar because there are uh, attempts here where they've shoved it over their face, and I had to catch it. That one right there is a straight line, beautiful lift. Oh, what do we got here? 755? 755 for Ryan Hines in the black Pharrell on a two board, head back, and a straight press and a lock. How much was that? 755. He tried 800. Um, I decided to play the game, and this is like 795. And I just was like, I was going to test the waters. You know, I got Larry Bush on the left, Jacob on the right. Those are my side guys. Hines has got to fill the center position, and the handoffs were pretty good, you know? I didn't really want to do too much tonight, so I was just sandbagging a little bit. Oh, then we roll into some incline dumbbells right after right after max effort. Like I say, a couple of my uh, Ryan Hines tried eight eight hundred and uh, pushed it up, and at the very top it started coming back, and I I took it from him. So he'll redeem himself in a couple of weeks. We'll retry that again. So everybody's gonna do uh, what was it? Three sets of ten, three sets ten, four sets of ten. Heavy, heavy incline. Those are one twenties, I believe. Everybody gets a spin on them. I really don't like doing them on the actual incline bench. I like to use a inverted uh, pad, but. I don't like the uprights right behind me. It's a little awkward. Dan Logman there got the cuffs and a dark side t-shirt when he made his order. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. Just because he's one of your teammates? Yeah. He, sh he's, uh, nice. he, he shows up. He's a great addition. We, very rarely do we get people like this that come along that want to do this, that bring the intensity, bring, bring the uh, energy like he does. Uh, one of our favorite tricep exercise, cambered squat bar with uh, kettlebells, weights, and chains, and all kinds of Christmas ornaments on the bar. <laughs> and our elbows were hurting tonight. They were a little sore. So we didn't jack it up with a ton of chains, but uh, we did multiple 
heavy extension sets here. I think we did four or five sets of eight reps. And I remember that bar is 88 pounds, so the chains are 20 pounds a piece, and the kettlebells are 20, or they 16 or some weird, I don't know what they are. But these are tough. I think everybody gets a spin. Why am I going again? Do a lot of awkward different tricep movements, but that's how we train on the Bench Monster Crew. Kind of great changing the exercises all the time. It, it, it becomes monotonous if you do the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, which is insanity. Ah, football bar with the same setup, sort of, kind of. The same bells and whistles. Weights, kettlebell. So you, you got a little stabilization thing going on. You got some deloading. I mean, you got it all through the through the course of the lift. And these are tough too. Don't let them fool you. But I love that bar. Yeah, that's a really cool bar. I like it too. There's a lot you can do with it. We do overhead presses with it. We do seated presses. Row, even, we do speed bench. Row, oh, row, all kinds row. of stuff. Yeah. Had it for many years. Mm -hmm. Thank God it's not bent. Right. Holy crap, is that it? Wow. Boy, where was the rest of my workout? That was piss poor. Uh, what did we do after that? We did, I think we did side delts, and we did a few tricep pushdowns, and that concluded that workout. Uh, I believe, well, if I look at my calendar, next Tuesday is my birthday. March 23rd. So I think we're going to deload on that day, and it'll be a fun evening, hopefully. We'll see. I don't know if they got any shenanigans planned for me at the gym, but uh, we will. And then what? what, what is uh, next? Yeah, we're going to deload. So, and that'll, that will be that. Anyway. Do I PR on your birthday though? Well, we'll see how I feel. I mean, if it feels like I, I, I got the, I got the piss and vinegar, Sunday. I will, I will, I will spend it, but uh, we, I, I don't want to go in and do something and, and uh, overexert myself and then have a setback. Cause there's only okay. so many Tuesdays in, in, in a month and they're all important so we're actually not going to deload it's i call it a deload because off the chest we, we'll, we'll do like three i'll do 315 they'll do like 225 but then we'll take a four board and we'll put 200 pounds of band tension on it and we will do upper end uh lockouts so it's it will still be heavy hey what's going on in the chat box today before we get over there we got uh, tiny meekers contest coming up this weekend we hope to showcase that uh it's gonna be a great show i uh Rooting for everybody out there, uh, you know, but only one man will win the show. And who will that be? I don't know. I gotta watch it. Yeah, so I understand. Do you know, do you know how to get on it? Yes, I know it? how to get on it. I know how to get the pay-per-view and all that. So might be worth uh, sitting down and watching. There's going to be some huge lifts, and I'm excited to see how the battle's going to go. Cool. Good luck to everybody. Yeah, good luck to everybody. It's going to be exciting. Safe travels, safe lifting, and hopefully, just have a blast, guys. Yeah, hopefully everybody comes out unscathed and uh, is able to do uh, a show again after it. And uh, no injuries occur and all that stuff. And uh, it, it should be exciting. You should see. Uh, oh, man, I'm sure. Yeah, everybody should epic. hit a thousand. Obviously, I mean, lots of thousand pound benches. Yeah, unbelievable. Probably the most you'll ever see in. Yeah, one, first time in history, like seven, conference. eight, nine people hitting a thousand pounds. And if two people hit eleven, that I'll that shit my another, pants. Yeah, yeah, can't and believe that either. It could happen. Hey, so uh, get in the chat box here, and then uh, we'll we'll move forward in life. And not too much in the chat. That's box. that's fine. Okay. Well, you need you need to get rest anyway. You had a rough day yesterday, so very rough day. yeah, you need some ice and some more ibuprofen. And uh, yeah, so I'm just I'm just proud that you're down here and you're because uh, you were you were out on the couch like I went to the gym and you were like this, I you know. Done, so yeah. yeah, it's it's been rough. So I was try like trying to return some texts because I worked from home today. I did my zooms from home and then i was trying at the end of the day i was trying to return some texts and emails and well you're lucky to be sitting there man asleep. so yeah, yeah. Well, let's yeah. see what everybody's got to say then we'll, we'll move on okay paul offer hey guys how's it going we just got to houston how exciting oh, a few wow. hours ago done done relaxed in the hot tub well, very cool. I'm so excited for you. Yeah, wish you luck, Paul. I know you're lifting very, out there. Very, very, very much uh, good luck. Kick some ass out there. Probably wearing the Viper, I'm assuming, the green one. Go have a blast. Yeah, I believe so, if I'm not mistaken. Very cool. Well, good luck. Enjoy yourself and just have a blast. Be safe. Yeah, have fun. Houston's a good place, man. Definitely. Excited for you. 
Um, one rep max. Oh, shit. Little fender bender, he said. Yeah. <laughs> what the F? I'm glad she's okay. Thank yeah. you. A little more than max. a fender bender, but I, I, I try to lighten it up for as bad as it is. Yeah, it's not pretty. No, I'm still just, I can't I'm believe traumatized. it. Traumatized. My, my first car I ever bought and paid for myself, and I love that car. Right. And so every time I look out in the driveway and see that empty spot, empty spot. I get a little teary-eyed. Well, we're going to get you a new Subaru. Yeah. A brand new one to build new memories with. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. Uh, Sean Deal. Sean Deal. Good evening, Bench Monster family. Broke out the Viper 2 today in training, and I'm in love. Jerry Cool got a touch in his SDP. I saw that. It was a great day for the bench brigade. I saw Jerry Cool. Very glad to yeah. hear that. Nice job, you guys. Viper Thank 2. You. You'll have a good time in that uh, shirt. I, that's one of my favorites, like I said, that uh, the green one. And to be honest with you, I think um, uh, Alec has a four-ply uh, Viper 2 coming out. I'd be interested in that. I have a triple-ply, so um, that'd be kind of interesting to see. Love the love the shirts, man. I mean, a lot of people are wearing them. In fact, my guys, out of the blue, all of a sudden want to train in bench shirt or the band shirts now. So that's exciting. We're actually going to find a meet uh, at somewhere down the road here. Once, once, uh, I don't know when. Right. Maybe once June, 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 July. Again. We'll see what happens. Bruce Mason, he says, "Hey, Seuss." G- Jesus <laughs> Christ! I'm glad you're alive. Thank you, Thanks, Bruce. Bruce. Yeah, I appreciate that. We I'm know, apparently very very lucky. It yeah. didn't feel like it at the time. Like, no, you are why lucky. Why didn't it just go through my head? This sucks, but technically, well, don't I leave am, me here on this earth all alone. Lucky, I guess. So. Thank you, Bruce. I appreciate it. Sean Deal, pray, prayers for you, Ashley. Thank you. I appreciate that, yep. Sean. I really do. Todd B. Craft. F-U-C-K. I'm so glad you're okay. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. I appreciate that, too. Thank you guys for all your kind words. Howard Weingarten. Sorry to hear that. Glad to hear and see you're okay. Yeah. Thank you, Howard. I'm happy to be here. Alex Estrada. So sorry, Ashley, but so thankful you are safe. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that also. You guys are so sweet. I appreciate all the support. Um, Jerry Cool. Hope you feel better better mentally soon ashley i flipped over a motorcycle oh gosh i flipped over a motorcycle a couple years ago and walked away very very lucky you're still here stay strong thank you jerry that sounds so scary did you have any injury like did did you walk away pretty unscathed or did you have some pretty bad i would have to imagine you had some sort of pretty bad injuries but I'm, i'm glad you're okay too um, and thank you for your, your kind words. I really appreciate it. I'm hoping I feel mental, mentally better soon also because I almost feel like I'm worse mental than physical. Right. Actually, I know I am. Um, okay. Thank you, Jerry. Richie. Tomlinson? Tomlinson? Tomlinson. Yeah, I can squat 135 for like four gajillion gaj- reps. Reps. That's a lot of reps. That's a lot of reps. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of reps. Nice job, Mr. Richie. Very cool. Roger Brome. Roger Brome. I wore my dark side knee wraps today. Good gear. What's those the, are the ones I have. The right. Surge knee wraps? Because I we have those, and I like them. I don't know if those are the ones you're talking about. I know he has a couple different kinds. The Surge ones have the actual rubber lining in them. That, that they ca- yeah, they catch on each other. Yes, they bite on each other, and they don't. You can wrap really freaking tight. I know that it uh, they work good on the wrist wraps. I'll tell you that. Um, Dan Logman's on the on here. Can't wait for next Tuesday. Is that the new guy? That's the, that's the new guy. Okay. Yeah, he, I he was trying if I saw that one come in. And he I'm, brings it. Very cool. Yep. I'll have to, I'm excited to meet him one of these days. All right. Bruce, Bruce Mason's Mason. talking about the tiny meeker mate. He's rooting for Carlino. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Man, there's so many cool guys. Huh? I'd like to. I would definitely like to see Carlino have a wonderful meet. He's such a he cool will. guy he and will. a hard worker, and definitely be rooting for him. Also, hoping, wishing him an awesome meet and just a great, great experience. Um, Roger Brome. That's another question. Roger Brome, Ashley, what is your self care plan for recovery from the crash? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have a plan? Um, 
not really true. one day at a time um yeah taking it one day at a time i'm gonna have to get a um rental car and like get those things taken care of um settle but, insurance yeah. settlement on your full coverage of your car they'll give you blue book value you'll get a check for that and i think that's how it goes yeah, yeah. Something i've never well this is you've been you're going through it now like this before yeah. so i'm not totally familiar but I, mean, I don't really have a self-care plan just trying to take it one day at a time and... very sore today like rib knee ankle i, I, mean, I mean i could be a lot worse yeah. yeah from where the the the, the tire the rim came through the, rim the floorboard came through yeah. the floorboard and so that's what hit like the left side of my leg and so it's kind of it's not Sca- too bad scary like, shit man um i'm just a little bit swollen but and a little bit sore but not not too bad um, but yeah, I wish I had a better answer for you, Roger. Well, you're on the spot. A great, yeah, I wish I had a great self care plan, but I really, I don't. I'm just trying to take it one day at a time, trying to remember that I should be grateful, you know, that I walked away from it. Yep. Um, and that's that's about all I got. But thank thank you for joining us, Roger. I'm glad you're here, Sean Deal. My prediction, sure to be wrong for Saturday. One Barodi, two Meeker, three Carlino. I'd say that's a fair get. I mean, that's a fair prediction. We'll see who brings the A game. That's it. Who opens smart, guess. gets on the board, takes the uh, appropriate jumps, and uh, takes the big show. Yeah. I'll be excited. I can't wait to see. It's gonna be It'll be exciting. 1,100 bench plus that'll do oh it. God, it's going to be so crazy. I wish we could be there. Um, one rep max has a question for you. One rep max on the bright side, Miss Condre, your lifts looking smooth. Ha ha. Granted, you said they're nothing special, but hey, no pain. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, that's why I mean, like pain free and comfortable. It was definitely I felt like it was a victory, you know, yeah. uh, it wasn't a PR or nothing. But it, the fact that like I like I keep saying that I want my back to get to a point when I'm lifting where I can forget there's a problem. It was almost there on Saturday. It was like I, there were points where I like forgot, you know, I didn't feel it at all. So you probably should take a few days off from the gym. That's probably. Well, I mean, I took today off. Well, then. Um, see how you feel tomorrow. See how tomorrow feels. Right. Um, I mean, I'm definitely not going to go in and do anything no, like crazy, crazy, because I know, like, I, I can feel things are tender, and yeah. I could easily like. A lot of times, it's the second up. day that's the worst. Yeah, I mean, you know? I'll, I'll see how. Because I've After kind of gotten worse as the days went on. Yeah. Well, get, a little bit, just kind of trying to get up and down. Get them ibuprofen or something and more ice. Got ice things. No. All right, where are we at? Thank you, One Rep Max. I appreciate your kind words. Paul Loffler. Paul Loffler. Yeah, I'm using the Viper 2, but after this, I'm ordering the Viper 3. That's what I have, nice. the orange one. Yeah. Nice. That's an aggressive shirt, but I, I really like it, too. Okay. CJ. Um, CJ Morgani. I had to go back to the beginning to see what everyone was talking about. So glad you're not seriously injured. Thank you, CJ. I appreciate that. Appreciate your kind words. Roger Broom. I have to. He has the blue ones. They don't have the rubber I have the lining. blue ones. They don't have the rubber lining, but I got the discount bench monster. Cabinet. Awesome. Thank nice. you for taking advantage of that. That's what it's there for. Definitely. Um, one rep. Max, if I can ask a shirt question real quick, what is the? Of course you can. Yeah. What is the lifespan of denim? I know you have different shirts for training and for comp. Does it apply to denim as well? My next meet is in June. Uh, once you break in a denim, um, it like I said, uh, a denim shirt will stretch a little bit, and once it does, it stays there. And as long as you don't get any artificial tears or or anything in it, you can. Uh, have it for a long time, forever. And you can make it tighter by gaining body weight. You know, Mendelssohn always talked about, you know, he puts on five pounds, it changes the shirt, and that was denim back in the day. And, uh, oh, you can get multiple, multiple lifts out of, out of denims. So it's the old school phenom stretchy material that would stretch a certain amount, and then it was kind of hard to work with. But Inzer doesn't make shirts like that anymore. He makes shirts that have longevity, and you'll get... You'll get you'll get your money's worth. Now you buy a shirt, you can use it forever. So that's what that's what I've seen. Howard Wingard. Man had a bad day yesterday in the Viper Three. 
but just saw people getting up over 900 to touch. I'm having trouble getting my grip out. Do you have anything to help me and my crew to help get it out? Well, I'm assuming you're uh, the Viper 3. The thing is with that is um, let uh, if you're having trouble getting your what I let other people in my crew wear it first and it kind of breaks it in. That Viper 3, the first time I put it on, I thought that it was um, uh, it, it was it was going to stay like that and aggressive forever, but it actually loosened up a little bit after I wore it two or three times. It, it's kind of relaxed a little bit in a way. I'm going to use that word relaxed and uh, as far as getting your hands out, you got to plant one hand over here. And what you have, need to have somebody do is push on the your bicep where the sleeve is. You don't want somebody to torque your wrist over because you're going to rip your rotator cuff off. So you, what I do is I put one one arm up, and then over here they come in and they push down on the sleeve right here, and then I, then I get my hand out. Don't let them do this torquing thing. That is not good. But have some other people in your, uh, hopefully a little smaller people in your training group, put that on and have them bob some weight in it and uh, let let them uh, kind of break it in per se. Because I've noticed the, the fourth time I've worn it now, it's actually relaxed. You know, it's uh, it's still aggressive, but it's um, it's like a little easier to work with. But if you're talking about just getting your getting your hand out, uh, definitely push on the sleeve. Don't torque your wrist. Um, Roger Brown, right? Yes. Get an attorney to handle your financials so you can put your mind on getting well again. That's a good idea. I think I'm going to have my mom's really, really good about all that kind of stuff. So she's kind of um, guiding me and walking me through that. So um, I'm it's definitely lucky to have her there to help me out. Um, definitely. Because she's already already been helping me and, and getting things in the works. So definitely appreciate her very much. Um, thank you for the advice, Roger Bromo. It is a really good idea. One rep, Max. By the way, the more I think about your incident, Miss Condre, the harder it is to still be an atheist. Ha ha, someone is definitely taking care of you from upstairs. Sure. Yeah, that's what everybody, I had a little guardian angel or somebody upstairs definitely um, watching out for me and saving, saving my life. Right. For sure. What's Bruce Mason talking about here? Bruce Mason. I'm sure Ryan would make a great Uber driver. Just make sure to rate him over Bench Monster TV. <laughs> Uber driver. What do they do? Like a taxi? Is um, that what they are? Or do they bring you food? No. Which well, one the, I don't know what they are. Uber Eats. Where, Uber Eats. Like that is a thing. But I think Uber, I think they give you a ride. I don't know. I go pick up I strangers and let them give them rides around like, town? I don't know exactly how it works, but kind of. Okay. Basically. I don't know. I try it. If anybody has a better description than that and want to explain <laughs> what Uber is, because I kind of know what it is, I just don't know exactly what it works. Right. I know it's some like personal people. You have to have like your some sort of certification and stuff, I think, to do it. Okay. And then yeah, people can call you for rides. And, right. Like I, I have a lady I worked with who did that on the side. Uber. Okay. Yeah, like she works. Maybe there's some money in it. I don't know. Could be interesting. Um. B craft. Where was I at? Todd B craft. How did the wreck happen? Did someone run a red light? The Beecraft family sends their love and best wishes for full recovery and back to setting PRs. No, no nobody ran a red light. Um, thank you for the, the well wishes from the Beecraft family. Yeah. I really appreciate that. I appreciate all of the support and love. You guys are amazing. So thank you very much, Todd Beecraft. I appreciate it. Paul Mercado. Hey, what up? I just had rotator cuff surgery last month, and my question is, do you know anyone that had this surgery and came back stronger on the bench after they healed? I do not know. Any, the only person that comes to mind, is, and I said this before, is Eric Spoto. You know, he tore his rotator cuff, and then he had it fixed, and he... Stan Efferdine said, and I don't mean to bring it, bring it down a downer to you, but this is this is what Efferdine said. You know, he said when he had his rotator cuff fixed, uh, when he when a Spoda would get up to six hundred pounds, anything over that scared him to death. And I don't know what that meant, but there were some other underlying issues. Um, you know, obviously, I think I don't I don't think uh, you people do not come back. I just don't know many people that have had a rotator cuff surgery in my group uh, or that I know of personally. And uh, had given me any different uh, 
uh, results from that. So I would, I would definitely, uh, if you just had surgery, do the physical therapy, do everything the doctor recommends, and then uh, strengthening exercises. Um, uh, obviously, uh, peptides too. Anything that's going to help healing. And um, CJ Morgani down here commented towards Paul's question, so I'm just going to read it real quick. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, we'll go back to the other ones, but since it has to do with this one, um, it says at Paul Mercado, I'm not a crazy strong bencher, but I had labrum and rotator repaired on my right shoulder. It's my stronger side now. Oh, my advice is to do the necessary PT work and you'll be good. There you, that's good to hear. That's a little more encouraging than his, yeah. his answer. Right? Well, either one could be, I mean, either one, Yeah. you know. And you know we don't even know exactly what Eric's photo or no. what Stan meant by Eric's. Photo. And I don't know that that was at the Fit Expo, yeah. and I asked him where he was, what he was doing, and he told me that it more could... of just like a mental thing. Mental is he's thing. Just afraid, and yeah. I'm sure that's may, maybe very much what yeah. it is. Is he gets scared because that's where he's afraid, you know? Possibly. Make and it would make sense. It's such a little tiny thing, the rotator cuff, but it but plays a big plays deal, a big deal. Yeah. yeah, and when I had my shoulder surgery, when they went in, there was like a small rotator, rotator cuff, cuff there that he had to patch up that well, wasn't shown on the MRI. They're tricky little boogers, yeah, but when he went inside, he got it down. All right, CJ has a question here. Saturday seems like it's going to come down to execution and strategy. They're all extremely strong and capable lifters. I agree. I mean, it's going to come down to the the little details and um, who came to play and who's, you know, got their A game going. So it's it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, hope, hope nobody left their best lift in the gym two weeks ago. You know, hopefully not. I know I did that back in the day a long time ago when I wasn't a seasoned lifter. Remember many times I go to the meet and I go, man, I did eight eight hundred two weeks ago in the gym. I did seven fifty at the meet. Huh. Not saying that's gonna happen. We're gonna see some crazy stuff. So I'm excited. Um. One rep, Max. Oh, and Mr. Canelli, I literally just got your email. Okay. Haha. Ha. Sorry, was at work. So I read it just at 1900 when the show started, and I just walked into my other job. Haha, <laughs> just replied to, by the way. Thank okay, you. I'll check that out. Yeah, awesome. he, sent, he sent me some videos. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't know. One was uh, he dumped the bar, and one was a squat video. I didn't know if he want me to, which one he wanted me to play or both. Okay. Or, so I, I didn't hear back from him. So we'll you do it next. both if he sent you both. Well, I didn't. I just want to make sure. Yeah. I just want to make sure. We'll do, it, we'll do it again next week. Okay. We'll get you next week. Um, Roger Brome. Roger Brome. Ryan, can you create an instructional video demo on putting on the shirts you wear? Yeah, yeah. I'll put on the band shirts because I I shirted uh, I shirted multiple people. Um, Dan Logman had a single ply Titan shirt. You know, I I was getting him in that shirt. But the band shirts are fun because I put them on my guys and basically what I do and how I do it and where I set it and where I put. You know, I'll definitely do a video on that. That's easy. Very cool. I'm a little behind at work, but I walked away from the motorcycle wreck with only a fractured hand. Wow. Had to have some pins put in. Longest six weeks of my life. That's oh, wow. Yeah. So Lucky yeah, man, too. I know. It's hard hard to think of us as lucky, but, I mean, I know it could, could have been a lot worse. So, oh, okay. I'm glad you're okay, man. That's in a motorcycle. That's scary. Very oh. scary. At least I at least had a you know Subaru to protect me. That's horribly scary. I'm very glad you're okay, Jerry. Um, Bruce Mason here explains the Uber. Read it to me. Okay, Bruce Mason. Uber is a taxi driver who uses their own car. Just normal, normal people picking strangers up. Well, what people, could do go they wrong get, there? Nothing can go wrong. I wouldn't think. Depend, I, I don't know. Well, in the middle of the night and crazy scary, people yeah. and getting cheese. I wonder if there's been like. I'm sure incident, there's been robberies like, and holdups and I mean, that murders. Like a recipe it seems like a, a, a dangerous position. But... And like I say, I think that the driver has to have some, you know, it's not like I can just go out and start no, doing it. No, you can't be it. some psychopath. Like, certified yeah. and stuff, but still. But hey, yeah, but the flip side of the coin is you're picking up psychopaths like me in the middle of the night. In, in you don't deep, know what you're picking Under up. a bridge in the east side of town. No. Yes, an Uber driver. So one rep max is following up with that by saying, yes, an Uber driver is a taxi through an app. Ha ha. They help you get a car, I think, if you don't have one, unless that was when they first started. It seems like a scary thing to do because there's all kinds of weird people out there. 
And you know as well as I do, the people you check out with in line at Walmart are people that probably hack up people in their basement and they look like perfectly normal people. And other creeps and weirdos. I'm going to stick to renting a yeah. car. <laughs> renting a car and bumming rides from you. Bumming rides from you until I can get the rental yeah. car. Well, I'll be I'll be your Uber oh, no. person. You, you, yes, you can be my personal yeah. Uber person. Oh, so depressed. I'm so sad. I'm going to miss well, my car. You're going to have a new car soon, hopefully. Nathan Brandhorst, hey old man, you cooking steaks for us at your place to watch this comp Saturday? Steaks? I gotta go to Costco. <laughs> I gotta go. To, I haven't been to Costco all week, man. I'm, I'm I don't have any meat. What time does it start? Ten? Texas time? I, I don't know. That's I should know question. this stuff. I know. I it's know. all over Facebook. I just I haven't paid attention. No. So we'll have to figure that out. So ten? I'd be like what? Eight? Eight in the morning here? I don't know what's going on. Or when do they bench? Two in the afternoon? Yeah. All right, Alex Estrada. Alex Estrada. Ryan, do you know if James Henderson still has the world record in the drug-free division on the bench press? I, d I would assume, you know, if there's actual division out there of drug-free, and uh, and uh, I would assume he'd be there. But I don't even know what, what's really going on in the world of records anymore with this open powerlifting it seems to be a joke of a, a organization that uh, that keeps all the track of the records. Mm. So I don't know anymore. Um, there used to be some order when Glossenbrenner and, and you know Michael Song had it. So uh, I would assume his name is in the record book somewhere and deserves to be. I mean, the guy was a legitimate uh, drug-free athlete. So wherever that record list is, he should be on it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Where you at, Miss Ashley? Howard Weingarten. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, I've been having pain in the shoulders when getting under the bar. I'm having some smaller guys get into it and stretching it in yep. the mono lift well, when pressing on the sleeve. Is it hard? Yes. Um, don't do any uh, manipulate. I'm assuming you probably have a 2X because um, I know there's a sizing chart for that Viper 3 and – a 2X is for like 242 to 285 body weight people, and the 3X is like 300. That's what I wear. Uh, he sent me a 2X, and it didn't work. So, um, like I say, you just got you gotta you gotta break it in. You gotta you gotta let multiple people multiple people wear it and and get a little work in it. Um, but it, it is hard to to push out. But there's a technique involved too. I've seen some people where they set up an actual uh, they'll push down on both uh sleeves right here on the person so you can get down like this and get oh get your hands out sorry about that almost scarred your other side of your face Jeez, I know. yeah Come there's on. not a lot of room here so but yeah it, it, it is tough but uh there's a, there's a technique to it maybe we'll do the uh, video on that also how we uh push down on the sleeve and get the arm out um i just wonder if it's i hope you don't have like a 1xl hope you have a 2xl i think Howard's in the 220 plus body weight range. Is I'm he, hoping. Is that where he's at? Yeah. Or he can send me a video or something too. Yeah. That's a good idea. Send a video. Who's up next? Um, Brandon Horse. Nathan Brandhorse. Why don't you just drive that black Dodge, Ashley? <laughs> I don't even, I don't even want to now. Um, not yet. I'm scared. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I want to do That's a lot before, of truck for now. her. That's, that's a lot. No, of... I can handle it. I just. Um, yeah. you, do, you you just like a little person in there in that truck, big old truck, <laughs> little tiny person. But you look cool. I want this on my Subaru back. Well, we're gonna work on that. All right. Okay. Good idea though, Nathan. <laughs> we'll work on that maybe. One rep max. I'll be watching live with my tequila on hand for when Mika oh. rings the bell. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Sounds like a good plan. Mika will be ringing the bell a lot that night. Boy, I tell you that. Sean Deal. Oh, one rep Max also says down here, or when Men or when Mendy says bro. Well, it would be like a drinking game. You got to take a drink every they, time you hear Mendy say bro. You, you're going to hear it quite a bit. I know. Yeah. People are going to get wasted if you play that game. Okay, Sean Deal. Yeah. Open power According to Open Powerlifting, Gillespie has the top drug-free bench in the Unlimited. They also have Ryan Canelli at number two. Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand open powerlifting. Like I said, I went there, and for some reason, I was in the same class as Will Barodi. 
and like uh when, when are we mixing band shirts and phenol i don't understand and i i don't understand how they're uh corrugating all that and i, yeah, I just i don't care anymore it's gone to hell in a handbasket with uh, fe 75 federations now. and Definitely hurts. The yeah, it's, it's like it's I say, if like I can go back screen. and change things, I like to go back to having four federations, APF, WPO, Wabdle, you know, and there was just a, a small little community and everybody lifted within it. But now anybody, you, know, you wake up tomorrow and there's a East Coast Powerlifting Federation up in Maine, Bangalore, Maine, mm -hmm. and there's two people lifting in it and they're setting world records. So I just, Yeah. I know. That was my rant for the day. I know, but yeah. most people, most people feel the same way. Yeah, like, it's we, just, we're all unhappy with how many. Well, it's going in a weird direction. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's I mean, it, everybody can be a world record holder because you're oh, everybody is, yeah. going in a federation that's been around for two years yeah, or I whatever. Just, yeah, it was you know, and I've been in it long enough to say that you know, 1997 was my first meet, so I've seen this thing that's flourish crazy. and and just turn into a shitstorm. So. And I don't expect it to get any better as time goes on and as we wake up tomorrow. Next question, please. Um, one rep max. Oh, I already read that one. Okay. That when Mindy says bro. Sean Deal. James Henderson is still number one raw in the drug free yep. with 705. The next guy to his is 683. Dude is a legend. I watched him do 675 with just a tank top on. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. Well. I'm glad his name's still out there. And yeah. he's, he's still alive, I believe, too. You got to get on the on the show sometime. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. Why not? I think he lives in Florida. Do you have him on Facebook? No, I've seen him on Facebook, and I think I can contact him on there. Do it. Do it. All right. Bruce Mason, what's the heaviest rolling dumbbell you have done? I did that on video not too long ago. 110. Um, it was one of those nights where everything was fresh. The elbows were feeling good. And it was just one of those days where uh, I, I think we, uh, believe me, if I correct me if I'm wrong, I think we did a two week wave of inverted uh, kickbacks. That's where you that's where you lean into an incline bench and you kick back and do uh, dumbbell extensions that way. It alleviates a lot of strain on the end of the elbow. So I think after that two week wave, we came in there and I remember I grabbed uh, I grabbed the 80s and rolled them and I said, you know what? Because uh, 105s is is the first big dumbbell on the college rack. That's what we call it. So I grabbed the 110s, and I think I had those on video not too long ago and did rolling dumbbells with 110s. So next time it'll it'll be 120s, depending on the day, hopefully. Boy, I tell you what, so I do it rolling dumbbells with 150s. Boy, that's going to be something. See what can happen. Hmm. Never say never. Never say never. Nope. Um, CJ Morgani, <laughs> currently the most dominant lifter, my basement federation has ever seen that's what i like to hear nice yeah i'm gonna come set a record too i'll be there i love it that's very cool um cj morgani you're right the shirtless sheriff is from florida or at least was yeah, he was i don't know if he's still there but you know what i'll uh i'll reach out to him on facebook and uh and uh see if he's uh capable of uh doing a skype interview with us he's freaking cool yeah it's worth a try so Bulk Swolligan. I like Bulk that one. Bulk Swolligan. In your opinion, what do you think the peak age for male performances with the big three movements are? Um. Well, let's see. 30? No, Chuck Vogelpohl did some of his greatest lifts at 45, I believe. Yeah, but uh, is, that the, is that the normal, though? He's asking, like, oh, for av not uh, no, 30s, obviously, de depending yeah. on hormone levels, all that stuff, too. Yeah, but, you know, 25 you, to 40. 45 25 to uh, yeah, I know that's 40 big range. i think louis rec even said that you know 40 you know is uh is uh is where it, where it's at so but you know bill gillespie 60 years old doing thousand pound bench but all three yeah you know uh, it it depends on uh it depends on the person you know there's a lot of factors uh you know you, you could see somebody uh start very young and and uh peak in his 20s and then have severe injuries in his 30s so if you play your cards right you know it shouldn't be between 30 and 40 Nathan Brandenhorst. Nathan Brandhorst. It will get better. The biggest raw meet this year called the Showdown has every all-time world record holder, not gay feds, but real records, besides Larry Wheels is doing it. Huh. Where's that at? Yeah, where's where's that at? Oh, interesting. Where and when and all that good stuff. That'd be a cool one. I wonder, I wonder where it's at. Don't know. He knows. 
He's in the know. Give us some yeah. more, more information. And, when, and when's the Arnold? Does anybody know when the Arnold Classic is? Yeah, have you Florida? heard anything else about the Arnold, Nathan? Anybody? Anybody? Anyone? Yeah. Is there even an Arnold this year? Because when we asked Tiny Meeker, because he, he, he usually goes and has a booth. Yeah, there. PLT booth. He said he hasn't heard of anywhere where the expos are nah, happening. And who knows? That if the Arnold does happen, it will be, um, that it might get moved to Florida. So. Okay. But that's all I've heard. I don't know. All right. Yeah. Nathan Brandon Horses, Kansas City, Missouri, September. Okay. Rami. Hopefully there's money involved, too. One rep max. What's he's got to say here? Um, one rep max. What do you guys think about putting a dumbbell on your stomach and lifting it up with your belly to work on the boiler? Um, one rep max. Send me a video, and I will get back to you. I can't picture it. It's it. When, you, when I read it, my oh, mind... Like, I think you just mean laying down and then fl like flexing your stomach. Is that what you mean? Kind of, sort of. No. Um, uh, to work on the boiler, you just eat 15,000 calories a day. That's that, how you work on that your boiler. Go? Right here. What do you guys think about putting it? Yeah. I, I got a boiler by eating 15,000 calories a day. That was 10,000 in shakes and the rest in food. And you will grow a boiler. You're not born with them. You have to make them. How are Weigarden? Howard Weingarten, yes, I have an XL, oh. but the 2XL was way too big and not able to use it. Upper arm was flowing around. Okay. I'm 263 as of this morning. I think the people who are helping me are a little scared to get me there. <laughs> okay, you have an XL. So, okay, I mean, um, then you got a real aggressive shirt. And you're gonna have to you're gonna have to work that thing. Um, hopefully you can get your arms in there and have a little bit of play. I mean, I hope they're not getting stuck on your forearms or anything. But uh, uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a sob for a while until you um, loosen up that shirt a little bit. And believe me, it will loosen up. My three uh, XL when I first put it on, um, I've noticed now that I'm able to get my hand out a little easier, which means that it's it's relaxing the the, the rubber material, the bands with inside of it. And I've cut one of these open before, and it's it's really cool. It's got these little circular uh, little little bands in there little brown rubber little doingy thing so cool yeah i think you just need to uh uh you know i think uh mike lupacek mentioned using a heating pad and putting it on the uh, chest panel of the shirt and letting it heat the, the the band material and then putting the shirt on i recommended a heat gun but anybody that goes to walmart and buys a heat gun is probably gonna light their shirt on fire so you might want to try the uh heating pad method because yeah, he's a pretty smart guy and if he's Right. We recommended that then definitely yeah. definitely worth worth giving a shot for sure all right the showdown shot. is in kansas city at jp price's gym very cool okay thank you sean no arnold this year is uh, what nate's saying no dates uh, sounds like it may not be a thing interesting the, what a letdown that's such a letdown i was yeah. so planning well on it. yeah Hey, it'll called, be another year. So if they do it the next year, will I automatically be Yeah, qualified? still the same. Just pick up where you left off. All right, one rep max. That's so depressing. It's not my year. <laughs> I was so excited last year. I was like, this is going to be my new my new tradition. Every year I'm going yeah. to the Arnold. Yeah, we were defending grand champion. So. And then the next year. I remember thinking last, last year, I'm definitely doing this again next year. And next year it won't be affected by COVID. There's yeah. no way. Yeah, oh, there's a way. You're, oh, and you're still deep shit. in it. So and especially with the numb nut on Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's the next question. Oh my God. Okay. Um when Rhett Max is still talking about his belly benching he, thing. I I was because I was right. I was describing it the right way. Yeah. Yes, you lay on a bench, no. put a dumbbell on your belly, and lift it up by puffing your belly out. Ha ha ha. I'll send a video. Um possibly so it's like you're flexing it. Yeah. Possibly, but I still like my method better. <laughs> Do both. Apparently, the Arnold South America is confirmed, and the UK Arnold, too. I'd have to imagine if they are a go, the US Arnold is going to happen. Yeah, we'll see. I know. You know everything, you know, just, it's know. hard to plan for something, though, when you don't, with your uncertainty times that we live in. I know. It sucks. Like, why can't you miss the days of knowing when your date for your meet was, and that's yeah, when well, it was going to be? Not anymore. And... Not in this new era it's of... It's not uh, going down anymore. Fear mongering. No, Next I Next question. It. it sucks. I'm so ready for it to be over. Bulk, Bulk Swolligan. Swolligan. Question. Higher frequency training, five to six days of training a week, or lower frequency approach, three days a week, for strength athlete or powerlifter, or both, depending on training cycle. I know people that do the low frequency training have tremendous results. I do high frequency training because I like to be in the gym 
Uh, I, they both work. It depends on the person too. I mean, if you can handle that type of, uh, I don't know. I just, I can't train three times a week. I don't know. No, that's me. not enough for me. Yeah. I think it's gotta be more. But I think tiny trains. That I way. like, he like trains yeah, like there's, three there's or four more. times a week. Yeah. Or something like that. So I think a lot of bench only guys yeah. do that. Yeah. I'm, I'm in there trying to build the physique. So that's why I'm in there so often. Yeah. I like, to, I like to do six days yeah. a week. Traps. I like to do some neck. I like to do forearms. I mean, yeah. The whole conglomerate of things. Mm-hmm. Just like Showbit. going to the gym. Showbit Jane. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. What's the most difficult bar for you to bench with? Uh, the cambered squat bar uh, because it uh, it wiggles quite a bit. And it's the one we were doing extensions with uh, tonight, that cambered one. Um, the duffalo bar, too. Uh, I'm not a big fan of speed benching with the duffalo bar. I really don't like that uh, huge deficit. Um, it's... Uh, but it works. So, but the one most difficult would be the uh, the safety squat bar because of the uh, the pendulum uh, uh, thing that occurs when you bench with it. But it's fun, awkward, not really mm-hmm. difficult, just awkward. I will jackhammer you. Do you get blood pressure issues, Ryan? No, only before meets when um, I'm trying to bloat and gain a lot of water retention and other things. Uh, usually have a uh, uh, high blood pressure that's a norm but immediately after i, I go I, I go to to my chicken and rice and fish diet and i drop like 20 pounds because that's what i did back in the day but uh no i keep the uh, blood pressure under control these days back in the day i didn't i know i was drinking soy sauce and that's why yeah that's why, I, that's why I had blood squirting out my eyes that's blood pressure that's scary I'm glad you got it under control now. Yeah. One rep max. Since you guys are talking about the Arnold, I recall Cobe talking about Ohio, saying it has four seasons. Winter, winter, not as winter, and construction. <laughs> ha ha, I almost died. That's true. It's always cold out there. <laughs> That's a good one. That's funny. Um, Howard Weingarten. After an accident that Ashley was in the luckiest person is the bench monster thank you i'll try the heating pad you're welcome thank you howard yeah, yeah and howard it. send me a, a video if you could of uh of you in that shirt I'd like to see what it looks like on you I'd like to see uh when you set your hand how difficult it is to, there's a lot of things i can i can see by video um that i can't see just uh trying to uh, auto visualize things so um but uh yeah we'll try to uh, a few tips and tricks we'll get that uh to work and don't give up on it Although it may be difficult and, and it might be a pain in the ass right now, it will get better. But like I said, try to have other people lifting it and uh, and kind of break it in a little bit. It's an aggressive material, that orange uh, Viper 3. Showbit Jane, being a super heavyweight, how did you deal with sleep apnea apart from the CPAP? Uh, how do I deal with it? You take sleeping pills because you have to dope yourself up because... That was the only way you got sleep because sleep apnea, you basically constantly wake up during your, uh, you don't get into REM state sleep. So the sleeping pills are actually kind of forced you into that, but it was a vicious circle that can end in death if you don't do something about it. And once I got a CPAP machine, like I said, uh, changed my life forever. And I have four of them now. Uh, if you have sleep apnea, I would definitely recommend getting a CPAP machine. Don't mess around because you go to bed and you don't wake up. That's how that's how sleep apnea gets you. So it's bad. That's very scary. Yeah. Any, I urge anybody that has it or thinks they might have it to go get checked out and get it taken care of. Yeah, took my bench from nine hundred five to ten fifty in eight, eight months. I mean, you start getting actual uh, sleep with that sleep apnea machine; it's a game changer. Bulk swill again. Bulk swill again. Recommended protein source. Currently eating farm fresh beef for three out of my five meals a day. Have you found beef gives you the best performance yeah. health? Red meat, hands down. Uh, New York, filet, top sirloin. Those are my go-tos. When I was doing 15,000 calories a day, I was eating two New York steaks, two baked potatoes. That was two meals, and uh, I was uh, heavy in the end of the red meat. I didn't really do a lot of buffalo back then. Didn't really know about it, so I was just eating the top sirloin fillets and uh, New York steaks. There was that little truck that drove around. It was like Yummy Meats, and they had a big old bull 
horned bull on the side of the van and they'd come knock on my door and they knew I was buying I bought the hundred dollars for uh, 20 pounds of steaks or whatever. Yeah. Uh, two times a week. Yeah. No, wow. every, every two weeks I was buying one. Nice. That's how much meat I was eating. So, and then I was doing the Mendelssohn shake, which is 18. It was supposed to be 2,500 calories, but it was actually 1875 and yeah. And you'll build a boiler very easily and we'll have to bring the bar down very far. Alex Estrada, how's mom doing? Mom took some of her first steps yesterday. Coincidental, on the same day Ashley got in a wreck, my mom took her first uh, steps by herself. You didn't tell me that. Yeah, I had video of it. Well, yeah, yesterday was a bad day, I and know. sister was t sending me the video, and then yeah, I didn't, I didn't, yeah, but she took her first, uh, uh, first steps. Yeah, you didn't tell yeah, me that. That's awesome. exciting. Yeah. Well, yeah. we had a lot, fuck, a lot going on. I so I will jackhammer you. Well, I'm glad that she's doing. That's yeah. awesome. That's very cool. If you're watching Connie, I'm so happy for you. I'm glad yeah. that you're doing better. I don't know if she's watching right now, but if you are or when yeah. you when you watch this, yeah. I'm so happy to hear that you're moving around and getting better and better. You're a strong warrior. I love it. Yeah. Um, where was I at? I will jackhammer you. I will jackhammer you. I'm really, but I don't know your wife's name, but what does she weigh? Her body looks lean and in shape. I saw she is strong too. What is your name? <laughs> My name is Ashley. And what do you weigh? And I weigh one, I don't know, probably a little less today, but usually yeah. I'm around 130. 130. I'm trying I'm trying to get up to a little bit heavier than that, but I usually hang, I, I always compete in the 132 weight class, so so thank you for the kind words yeah. and my name is ashley by the way <laughs> miss ashley with <laughs> ashley condry like in the beginning bench monster tv mm -hmm. all right what's next uh, howard weingarten has a question or a prediction also cobe is my favorite this saturday and mendy is a dark horse haven't seen what he's been doing and i will definitely get you a video thank you i'm yeah appreciate be interesting. That. very cool thank you howard one rep max at Howard Weingarten. Yes, as much as I love everyone on stage, I am rooting for Kobe and Mendy the most. Ha ha ha. It'd be Very cool, to see. yeah. Oh, man, there's so many good ones. It's hard to. Who brings the A game? I want to see, you know, Kobe, yep. Carlino, Meeker. I want to see everybody do yep. good. Who shows up with I all their hand off guys? Killer and... lifts, and yep. it just comes down to which one's the most epic. You know. It's gonna be. I hope they all get their third be, attempts. It's gonna be huge. And, yeah. Mr. Elite Entertainment. Uh, Mr. Elite Entertainment. Just just tuned in. Sorry to hear what happened, Ashley, and glad your mother is recovering well, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Elite Entertainment. We appreciate that. Appreciate the support and kind words. Um, Todd B. Craft, how much do you think Mendy will bomb with this weekend? <laughs> well, Mendy, if he's smart, he, oh, he, maybe. He, he opens and gets on the board. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> or he opens with the world record. It's one or the other. Not sure. Not sure his game plan. It's hard to I say. Not, I'm not asking anybody. I'm just guessing. <laughs> um, one rep, Max. Great. I'm glad she's doing well. Will mom's video be on the show? Oh, you could have put that. Uh, not sure yet. We have to ask. Yeah, to I ask don't her. know. We have to ask if she's comfortable with that. But if she is, that's a good idea. Definitely. Yeah. Something I don't know if she everybody's... wants. You know her. Uh, we should ask yeah. her first, definitely. Yeah. But if she's cool with it, we can definitely. Definitely play her progress video. It's a good idea. Showbit talking about some nasal decongestant. What's he talking about? Here? Showbit Jane. I tried nasal decongestant spray and slept with my chin up. My sleep apnea is gone for now. Well, actually, they have a, they have a mouthpiece you can wear too that actually forwards your lower jaw and opens up. I mean, there's so and there's nas those those nasal strips. I mean, hey, uh, if you if you think you've beat it and you're and you're having dream state sleep, then so be it. But uh if you're not i definitely recommend getting a sleep study they actually send you home with an easy kit uh that you can do at home so it's nothing to mess around with one rep max one rep max and i was just thinking about this the other day how is paul doing paul's doing good uh, the, uh one of the guys i train with says he saw him recently he's lost 80 pounds i've been over That's to his cool. house Two times last week i drove by and i his car has always been gone so i'm hoping to catch him at home I uh, tried him two times last week. Uh, drove, like I said, drove by, was not home. So uh, I'm trying to catch him. You know, he's busy. He's obviously out moving around, uh, retired now, and uh, uh, doing well, from what I understand. Hello? 
But like I say, I'll, I will get when I get uh, straight from the horse's mouth. I will bring you uh, the information. I just want to catch him at home. Glad to hear he's doing better. Yeah, though. doing better. Well, Bobby Miller saw him, so that's okay. What, yeah. he, he not, and that's why I, when I heard he was he home, pretty good spirits yeah. and stuff. Yeah, good. Yeah, we we gotta go visit him. We gotta go see yeah. him. I miss him. He was a really cool guy. You can never count out Mindy at any meet. That is true. It's true. It's true. It'll be it'll be interesting to see. I'm I'm excited. Yeah, I'm very excited. CJ, last question. CJ Morgani. Looks like it's our last question. Ashley, indeed. have you only competed raw, or did you dabble with equipped lifting? You dabbled. I d- I dabbled like one or two meets. Yeah. Sure did. Yeah. No, I never. Uh, I've never had a squat suit or deadlift suit, but I've I've played around in a bench shirt. Ends are poly single a ply. Bit. I competed in the ends yep. are poly. I wish I would have had that Titan one by the time. The, the, when I did the competition, because that one I could have done way more. That's right. Ken Anderson sent you a Titan. Forgot mm-hmm. about that but one. It was, at, have... it was after that. Yeah. You still have the it? Blue and black one. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, it's a good shirt. That's the one that caused my Cernix, but yeah. well, made me strong. Yeah, made me strong. Uh, you if did I would have been smart and broke it in. Yeah. Um, I forgot it. about that shirt. It has been a while. Remember, it took you, Larry, and Paul to it get was. it on. It was 2009 so or something. Then. I, and I, I wouldn't fit in it now, because that was made for when I was like 115. 115. Boy, and even that. and even at that body weight, like you remember, do you guys remember like the blue and black one wasn't as hard. He also sent me like a red katana. Red katana, yeah. And that wow. one was the hard. It took all three of you guys. Oh, to I was busting my on fingernails him. off trying <laughs> to get that damn thing on. I don't miss that. All right, so I've, I've dabbled a little bit. It's I definitely fun to put a shirt on and get to put some some weight in your hands, especially for those of us that aren't strong enough to have a very good bench without a yeah. shirt. You like shirt lifting, though, because it's a huge. Nice carryover. to put a shirt on, and I get to put it. Cut, Two plates on the bar with that blue and black. Two twenty-five at one fifteen. Yeah, yeah. it's huge. And it was like not even hard. It was like, it was awesome. (laughs) Hey, CJ's talking about some sleep apnea here. Let's catch this out. Okay, so also CJ Morgani, also with sleep apnea, get the tonsils and adenoids checked out. Had mine taken out. T breathing and sleep improvement was amazing. Yeah, that's 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 a that's surgery that you can do, obviously. Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay. Bruce Mason's got a, a, a meet update here. July 15th is Pharrell's meet. They Bench only, meet. and they're putting up some big money. Mm-hmm. I heard. I heard money. Where'd that, you see me? That doesn't say well, money there. Is somebody, that... I heard okay. that a couple weeks okay. ago, that okay. he was going to be some cash on there. Well, that'd be cool. Yeah. Thanks for that'll letting be in Pennsylvania, know, probably. I would assume that's where he's at. Is that where he's from? I think so. Out that way. Okay. Gotcha. Thanks for letting us know, Bruce. Howard Weingarten, Ryan, I'm sure we all are looking forward to seeing you break records again. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I'm in the gym. You know, uh, training hasn't been consistent uh, since last March. You know, I, I mean, with COVID, gym shutting down. I mean, we were able to sneak into our little gym, but Ashley can't hand me a thousand. So, you know, it wasn't until November till things opened I can, up. I can hand you off 500. Yeah, you know, it was just... Uh, you know, training consistency is important. You have to consistently do what I do and uh, go to a meet and, and be ready. So it's been wiggly and wobbly and all over the place. So I want to go in, I want to go into a meet and say, hey, you know, I, I've trained consistently. I've handled the weight. I've done this. I've done that. I've had this crew. You know, I'm ready. So and that time will come. I, I may have a birthday next week, but, uh, you know, I, Bill Gillespie, you know, he's 61 years old. He's still doing it, man. So. Got a, long, a lot of years in this sport or hobby, whichever it is. Yeah. All right. Bruce Mason, just kidding, the 17th. So the Pharrell's meet must be July 17th. 17th. Right. Okay. After after 4th of July, somewhere okay. in there. Nice. The heat of the summer should nice. burn off all the COVID. <laughs> it should be a lot better. All right. Where are we at? Roger Brome. Those having sleep apnea have it checked because there are two types. Obstructive is mechanical in your throat, but central neurological apnea is your brain turning off your breathing. Interesting. I think I have the, I I think I I don't know which one I have, but I know my CPAP machine has has cured it. That's some deep stuff. Your brain turns off your breathing. Well, I think that means that's not good. (laughs) No, that's scary. That's a really scary way of putting it. Opinions on linear periodization, if it can be valuable for strength gains, I think it can. I believe in all Definitely. all forms of training. I don't I don't think that uh, this this works. It all works, but does it work forever? You know, 
That's the question. Um, Roger Brome, central apnea is more dangerous and life-threatening. Wow. Jeez. And well, was... all apnea is life-threatening. I mean, if you, especially if you don't get under control and you let it go for too long. saying that the one that turns central and is, your the heart. Neuro- is the one that is turns the... your brain or where your brain turns oh, off Oh, that's scary breathing. shit. I didn't know that. I learned that's... something new today. Thanks, yeah, Roger. Yeah, that's interesting. Either. That's scary. Thank you, Roger. One rep max. Just watch. Mendy gets his opener, then looks at the board and says, in his Mendy voice, Give me 1500 bro. Ha, ha, ha. Gotta love the balls on that guy, though. <laughs> well, I think it'd be cool if Mendy opened with 1115 and then just went to, like, 1200 I thought it'd be cool. <laughs> and that's what Mendy, and Mendy can do it. You think he, you think he would do it? Uh, well, you know, it's, it comes down to the shirt. You know, a lot of times Mendelssohn has problems touching. You know, we've seen time and time again um, gets out there and, Gets, gets that weight down and just can't get it to touch. So hopefully these band shirts, he's got them dialed a little bit. And there's a little forgiveness in these shirts. They don't walk up like a overkill. They don't walk up like a denim. Actually, they, you know, you can, they lock up a little bit. They slow, but you can, you can kind of, you know, get them to stretch enough to, uh, to make it happen. So it will be a sight to be seen and we will have full coverage of that next week. And then I'm sure once these lifters get back home, I know Middleson was wanting to come on the show. Maybe we'll get him on to talk about it. Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. And, uh, I wish everybody the best and I hope they, uh, kick ass and take names and, uh, do some crazy benches out there. And, uh, I definitely will be watching Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you got it unlocked. Meeker's, uh, got, I got the pay-per-view information and yeah, it's 10 bucks. It's that simple. So totally worth it. Yeah. Worth it. (laughs) I want to see it firsthand and, uh, rooting for everybody and. I have my own predictions, but uh, it doesn't matter what I think. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, we will. Yeah. I'm excited. So finally come down to it. We've been waiting for for a while now. Yeah, it's finally here. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Again, good luck to everyone competing. We'll be thinking about you guys. Wishing you best luck. We hope everybody has a great meet um, and a great experience, and I'm sure yeah. you will. Well. Um, I met... I met Mendy. He is a human chore. Yeah, he's a big man. <laughs> he's a beast. Yeah, he is. I yeah. met him once. I, well, did at, I officially? At, I saw him in person at the Fit Expo. He was our. But he wrestler. had a bad. He had a bad meet, and we didn't get. We were supposed to hang out with yeah. him. Yeah, um, uh, bad arm wrestling. I, I did. Maybe I got to shake his hand. I think. But we, then it ended bad, and we didn't get to see yeah. it again. Because I think we were – didn't we talk to him for a second? At, at, at the Fit Expo. And we were going to hang out. Yeah, we were going to hang and out. And then something happened with the last – Some bullshit on the arm wrestling stage. They screwed him I over. I can't remember yeah. what happened, but he, he got screwed pissed. over. And yeah, when it didn't happen. really upset. So. Hey, we'll be going down there and visiting it sometime soon. Definitely. We're getting That's our so asses cool. out, of, out of Dodge here pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, we got to get out of the state and go somewhere else. Definitely. We haven't even been getting to go to Spokane lately. No. I think it's, it's, life has been – Oh, hard. I was wondering what chore was – Cho- Chore. Chode. Chode. I He's I huge, met is Mendy. He is a human chode. Yeah. Huge dude. He's a walking Shrek. Oh, he's yeah. a huge dude was what it was supposed to say. Dude. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. Bulk is trying. And I do know Reggie <laughs> White you, passed away from sleep apnea. That was a long time ago. That's the first time wow. I ever heard about it, too. That was oh, really? The 90s. Yeah, Reggie White. Sleep apnea. I didn't even know what it was. So I quickly found out what it was. I had it for a while. It sucked. Makes your life a living hell. But, uh, yeah. Glad you got it under control. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we need to wrap There's this one up. More. Okay, because I'm getting hungry. One rep max. Okay, guys, I got to gotta go. My earphones just died. Ha ha. Thank you for the show. Enjoy the rest of your week. And speedy recovery to mom, Miss Condre, and yeah. Paul. Love you guys. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Thanks we love rep- you, too. Yeah. We appreciate all your kind, kind words and support. Um, and tuning into the show each week. We appreciate you. I got some instructional videos to make on putting shirts. I need, yeah, I need to take that big idea. fancy camera to the gym that I just bought. My Sony a7C and my uh, Ronin DJ RSC2 and uh, wire ourselves up and uh, cool. do some uh, one-on-one stuff with the music off and uh, instructional stuff. I need to do that. Put it, on, put it on, on, the, on the podcast here. So we will do it. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, thank you for joining us. Thank you for all the kind words and all the support. Yeah, I really do appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Ashley, I uh, wasn't I wasn't sure if you're gonna do the show tonight. I didn't. It was a lot to ask because uh, we were 
not up, up, up to feeling things today, no, you know, not, after I, what you've been through. So every day we'll get better, man. Like that, we'll be bumps in life, but we uh, we're resilient people, and we will prevail, and we will move forward, and we will we will succeed. Yeah. Yes. Stay positive. You know that's the best thing. You know, do the best you can. Hey, Thanks. Bench Monster TV family, thanks for joining us. Thank and, you so uh, much. We appreciate you. As guys. I always say, you know, if uh, you guys have any type of videos, please send them to me, and I will put them on the show. You know, and I appreciate uh, I, a lot of videos I got this week from people. And, uh, uh, yeah, it just makes it that much uh, more of what this show's about, you know, showcasing lifters. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't matter if you're 135 bencher or a 1,500-pound bencher, 135 squatter. Improving or, themselves. Yeah, improving and themselves. And uh, we, we want to showcase <laughs> you and uh, keep this show positive and uh, hope it brings uh, inspiration and and uh, you guys out there work hard at everything you do. And uh, that's what's up. What did I tell you about the phone? Okay. Okay. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Please, please send me videos, and we'll have uh, extra content on top of the stuff that I bring, and we'll talk about it, and we'll keep this show a-rolling. And we will mm -hmm. have a guest uh, after the after the Meeker meet. I don't know who it'll be. Hopefully, we'll get a hold of the champion, and uh, and if they're interested in doing being on the show again, whoever that may be, or could be somebody we haven't on the show. And, uh, we got options. Could be Brody, and we'll try to get him on. We'll try to get Mendelssohn. You know, they're all great lifters, and we uh, I wish them all the best. Definitely. So, that Good being said, everybody, a successful meet, a safe meet, and just a fun experience. And I'm sure, I'm sure you will have a blast. That's I Ryan, the Bench Monster Canelli, signing off with Miss Ashley Condre. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you again next week. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>